what's next? Animals. Um, I chose hospital specifically because it's also got animals and blobs and stuff like that. This is what people get confused with, like maggots and blobs. They won't move, like, you put them down. And that's all they do. They just sit there. Fun, isn't it? Oh, look at that challenge. Oh, crap, I actually died. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to playing as a kid. I just... Whoop. See, see what I mean. Anyway, back to my point. We zoom in. Oh, I'm getting some awful lag. Go away, lag. Anyway, back into animal mode. N key, obviously. You right click the animal. Go away, lag. What the hell? Press F8. The start velocity indicates how fast I'll be moving. So we'll have this big one moving slow since he's so big. I'll put him on 30. And his gravity has already been set to negative 550, which is down. That the first one is x-axis gravity, which is left and right, and the the right one is the y-axis, which is up and down. So negative is obviously down. And this little guy will make him fast. We'll make him turbo. We'll just make him incredibly fast. He'll probably kill me as soon as I start. So we'll make him 750. He's been eating nitrous for breakfast. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Yep, what I tell you, he's going fast. God, he's so fast he just broke the map. Incredible. Alright, just get rid of these guys, it's basically them covered. Oh well, there's one other thing. If you want them on the walls, like, you're gonna have to change the gravity. So, we don't want him dropping down, we want him on the wall to make him go right. We'll just put 550 here, not negative 550, because that'll make him drop left. This friggin' lag. And 550. And he should be dropping on the wall as soon as we start. There we go. He's got no speed, so he's just going to be sitting there. Just being his happy little self. Anyway. What's next to cover? Fans, lasers, and gravity orbs. This has probably been the most asked object to have help with. Like, people have been asking this consistently, and even though I've posted up stuff of how to make these, people still ask, so I'd rather cover it now than never. Anyway, I'll start with the most obvious one that people want most of all. Fans. People just love the fans. Anyway. Hold shift and left click to select the fan. Obviously enough. F8. And this should bring up the properties. Now, if I remember correctly, to make a fan work, the default speed will be 300 in both float prop 1 and 2. So float prop 1 and 2. Just make that 300. That's the average power for a fan. If you make it any higher, it might go too powerful and send you flying. Go away, steam. Alright. Can you just stop steaming me? Okay, here we go. Whee! And, yeah. Let's make it super powerful, just for the heck of it. Just to show you how powerful it can get. 10,000. I've never made it anything over 1,000, so... This is going to be something new for even me. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that wasn't expected. Let's do that again. That was actually quite fun. <laughs> yeah, instantaneously just get sent up into the sky. You wouldn't want spikes in that little box right there. Anyway, that's fans covered. What's next on there? So we've got lasers next. Another asked object. It's not really been asked as much as fans or gravity orbs. But yeah, lasers have been in there for a while. Well, been asked about, anyway. Float prop 1 indicates how long it, it'll wait to shoot a laser. So we'll make that 1 second, so 1. And float prop 2 indicates how long it'll fire that laser for, so we'll make that 3. So it'll... It'll wait for one second, then fire a laser for three seconds, then repeat. So it'll consistently loop. So we'll just go up there so we can hear it. Yep, there's the laser. And there's the lag. Gotta love it, don't ya? Yeah, it's just Fraps and Audacity both running at the same time. It's eating my CPU alive. Anyway. 
That's lasers covered already. And I'm going to have to go to the Rapture for gravity orbs, so... Yeah, I'll just save that for later. I'll just got to remember to do it. Next on the list, keys. This was another high demand topic, obviously, because people want keys. I wanted keys too, so I can't complain. Anyway. Yep, scales one. Alright, we'll drop our key. Go into tile mode. You have to be in tile mode for this. Find the key block. Obviously this. We'll just make a random box. Ta-da! And some more fun stuff. Just to demonstrate how it'll work. And we've got to connect these. I'll show you something else. The key blocks won't open each other if they're diagonal. They have to be next to each other. But to set a key to work, you select it, press F8, and find the X and Y axis of the block you want it to open. So, I want this one to open down here. So that is, where it says grid down here, that's the X and the Y axis. So 19 and 16. Init int prop 1, or I'd probably just call it initiative prop 1, I don't know. That'll be 19. That's the X axis. Initiative prop 2 will be 16. Oh, what the? I don't want that. There we go, 16. So yes, yeah, same as down there. 19 and 16 down here when I put my cursor over the block. 19 and 16. Okay, then we click apply. Now we test it. So our key is dropped, all our blocks are around, now we pick up the key. Whoa. Yeah, you can see how it opens in the side-by-side the -side pattern. When I open that big area up there, you'll see it happen. I'll do it again, even though there's lag. Yeah, but see, these ones didn't open because they're not next to them. So, they're kind of sad and just sitting there wanting to be open, but they never will. And what's the last topic? Moving objects. This is probably one of the more harder and demanding tasks, because uh, it takes quite some patience to get it right. And this lag is really killing my computer right now. Anyway, back on topic, you can't stir, stir off it. So enter your obstacle mode, H key. Select the object you want moving, so I'll select this saw blade that I've left lying about. Then to enter waypointing mode, press G. And it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there we go. G. It's best if you've got like a saw blade as your um, item selected, but I obviously don't. I've got the key still. So once you're in it, it'll say set piece waypoint mode up in the top left of the screen instead of obstacle mode. So I'll just keep pressing G to spam that to show you. G, 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 G. Alright. Now to place a waypoint, you obviously left click. Yay! I've placed a waypoint. Hold control and left click to select it. Now this is the confusing part, which I was confused for for quite some time. This, the start time is down here. This indicates how long it'll take to get to that waypoint. So when you scroll your mouse for while you have that waypoint selected, it'll take exactly that many seconds to get to that waypoint. So we'll make it two seconds. Now we'll test that out. See, now we've got a moving saw blade. Yay! Now we'll just go back in there, select the saw blade again. G, select the checkpoint, or waypoint again. Now we want to make another waypoint. We'll bring it down here this time. Select that waypoint. And we'll, just to show you how it can be proven, or make mistakes can be made, I'll put it on two seconds, just to show you. See, that didn't work. This is what I get confused on sometimes. Like, I accidentally just leave it and put two in all the objects and think it'll work, and it doesn't. But you've got to add on to whatever time is currently on the previous waypoint. So it's already two seconds on the first one. So you want to add another two seconds. So that'll be four. So it'll take four seconds to get to the last waypoint. Altogether. There we go. And to get it to loop, you just got to put a waypoint on top of where it started. So, waypoint mode. And click the center. Select that waypoint. Put that on six seconds. And now I can't see a thing because someone just signed on MSN and blocked my view. There we go. And there's our moving saw blade. Ta-da!
I feel accomplished. Now I don't. Anyway. I'll load up the rapture now and show you how to work gravity orbs. Those are probably another confusing thing to work with. Okay, I've loaded up the rapture now. Now to just do something quickly. Just find the orb. No steam. There we go. I'll make two orbs to demonstrate this. There's two ways these orbs can work. Alright, we'll work with the first one on the left. Press F8 to bring up the menu. This is probably the most useful menu you find. It just has all the settings in it all in one. Alright, now I've got to remember how these work correctly. So I think float prop indicates how powerful it is, and initiate prop indicates how far it'll actually push you. So we want this on, I guess, 500 float prop. Approximately 500. And the initiative prop. 100. You don't want it any bigger than that, because that's just too far. So this will... Oh, we're going to have that on negative 500, I mean. This is for push. You don't want pull. I'm going to test that on the other one, so... Negative 500. Here we go. Test it out. And drop. There we go. I'm being pushed. I'll just stand here, and I'm being pushed. A little hovering. It's not that powerful. I might set that on 1,000, actually. Even though that is a bit too powerful, I'll just do it anyway, just to show you how it works. 1,000... 1,000... Apply... Yeah, it's not really that powerful. Yeah, but it's still pushing me away. Anyway, we'll work with the second one now for pulling. We'll move it up a bit to demonstrate the pulling power. Anyway, F8 again. Instead of having negative, this time we'll just have a positive number. 1,000 and 1,000. No, 1, 10,000. No. 100 and 100. So that's the pulling... The, oh, the maximum distance for where it'll pull or push you. Beyond that, it won't pull or push you anymore. So. And it doesn't seem to have worked. It's not being happy. Why aren't you being happy? Um, might as well try some thousand anyway. Who cares? There we go, now I'm being pulled. It's like a warp hole. Oh no, I'm not even moving right now. I'm just letting it do its thing and it's doing it right now. It's possessing me. Let me go. Uh, I can't get out of it. Uh, there we go. I'm being pulled into it again. See, it's that powerful now. I could just stand here and it'll pull me towards it. Uh, go away. I can't jump up the wall. Gotta get away. But I can't. Oh, there we go. And now I get sucked into it again. No! Anyway, that's basically it. You, I've just told you everything, basically, I know. Well, up to this point. 